Tomo News presents Animals in Danger of Going Extinct. Rare Sumatran Rhino Gives Birth An endangered rhino has given birth and it was caught on camera. The 14-year-old rhino named Ratu gave birth at the Sumatran Rhino Sanctuary in Indonesia. The video begins with the rhino prepping for delivery. Ratu actually has experience in this area. She gave birth to her first calf in 2012. The male named Andatu was the first rhino birth in captivity in Indonesia in 124 years. Then the video cuts to... Yep, that's what a rhino looks like being born. Surprisingly purple. According to the International Rhino Foundation, the female calf weighed in at 45 pounds, or 20 kilograms, and looks healthy and active. Only an estimated 100 Sumatran rhinos remain, mostly on the island of Sumatra, and several are in captivity. The birth is a significant success for efforts to save the endangered species. Congrats, Ratu! Galapagos giant tortoise brought back from brink of extinction. Around 1,000 giant tortoises have been reintroduced to the Galapagos island of Española, saving the species from extinction in a rare conservation success story. The Española giant Galapagos tortoises can be found in the Galapagos archipelago. 1,000 kilometers west of Ecuador and specifically on Española Island. The tortoises measure around one meter in length and have a saddleback shell. They survive on grass and leaves during the wet season and cactus during the dry season. The population used to number from five to 10,000 but was devastated with the arrival of buccaneers and whalers in the 18th and 19th centuries. Their numbers reduced to just 15 specimens by the 1960s. Using those 15 tortoises, the population was rebuilt over the last five decades via a breeding program that produced more than 1,000 tortoises. The tortoises were brought from captivity to Española Island and are now able to look after and sustain themselves. Government officials caught eating endangered giant salamander. Local Chinese government officials and police authorities were caught leaving a restaurant where they were allegedly dining on a critically endangered species of salamander. The Chinese giant salamander is the largest salamander and largest amphibian in the world. It is also considered to be a living fossil. It is critically endangered due to habitat loss, pollution, overcollection, and overhunting. And who would want to eat this critter that looked like it had just crawled out of the primordial ooze? For many Chinese, it is considered a delicacy and is used in traditional Chinese medicine. It is rumored to endow individuals with longevity and health. That's probably why it was the main attraction at the dinner table that night. Diners were also given a little gift bag on their way out the door. Some journalists managed to sneak in, but were beaten when their identities were discovered and another had his mobile phone taken. Too bad none of the diners wanted to talk to us, because what we really wanted to know was, does it taste like chicken? Giraffes now listed under IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. The world's tallest creature is slowly veering closer to being wiped out. The IUCN has updated its red list of threatened species, and among a number of birds and crops, the majestic giraffe now finds itself in serious trouble. With its population declining at roughly 40% over the past three decades, the giraffe has since been raised to two categories from least concern to vulnerable. The reason for the giraffe's demise? Humans, of course. With human populations growing, illegal hunting has escalated. Poachers use traps and rifles to kill giraffes, and with habitat loss also contributing to their decreasing numbers in the wild, pretty soon giraffes may only reside in zoos. It's not just our long-necked friends who are dying off. The African Grey Parrot, fondly nicknamed the Einstein Parrot for its high level of intelligence and mimicking abilities, 
has been severely hit by habitat loss and the exotic pet trade. With roughly 3.2 million captured between 1975 and 2013, one of the planet's brightest birds is now listed as endangered. It's estimated that less than 98,000 giraffes are left in the wild. With the red list having grown to nearly 25,000 different species, the time we have left to reverse the damage we've done to other forms of life on Earth may not be enough. Is the Pembroke Welsh Corgi really an endangered species? This week, Britain's Kennel Club released a press statement that the dog breed Pembroke Welsh Corgi was at risk of disappearing from our parks and streets. And the internet freaked out. The Kennel Club indirectly blamed the breed's decline on its association with the elderly, particularly its association with Queen Elizabeth, who has owned more than 30 corgis throughout her reign. The irony is that the Queen has allegedly decided not to get any new corgis since she fears tripping over the stubby-legged buggers. But rest assured that the corgi continues to be very popular in the United States. It has remained the 24th most popular dog breed in the U.S. for the past decade. The American Kennel Club has said reassuringly that over 5,000 corgis were registered in the U.S. in 2013, and that does not include corgis which were unregistered. So take a deep breath and rest easy that these cute, stubby-legged, bouncy balls of fluff will not be leaving the earth anytime soon. Long live the corgi! Ebola epidemics may force Africa's chimpanzee and gorilla populations into extinction. Massive declines in Africa's A populations correspond to Ebola virus outbreaks on the continent. By some estimates, we've already lost a third of Africa's A population. Certain primates may contract Ebola by eating food contaminated by fruit bats carrying the virus. Deforestation exacerbates the virus outbreak, causing infected animals to come into increased contact with other animals. Africa's fruit bat territories correspond to the range of areas where chimpanzees and gorillas in Africa live, causing the primates to be susceptible to the deadly virus. Several Ebola vaccines already developed appear to work well on animals in the lab. One vaccine combines a common cold virus with a spliced gene sequence that codes for Ebola virus proteins. When the vaccine is injected, the infected cell displays Ebola proteins on its surface and the immune system will learn to recognize the viral proteins. Although the vaccine that may ultimately protect gorillas and chimpanzees exists, logistical and legal hurdles prevent researchers from testing it on apes. Melting sea ice is bad news for polar bears. The authors of a new study warn that polar bear numbers could drop drastically over the next 35 years because of global warming. A review by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature forecasts that polar bear numbers will fall by a third by the middle of the century. The global polar bear population is currently estimated to stand at 26,000. The study suggests there is a 70% chance that figure will drop 30% by 2050. Melting sea ice caused by global warming is the main threat to the survival of polar bears. Polar bears depend on sea ice as a floating platform to hunt seals, which can outswim them in the water. The presence of man-made chemicals in the food chain is another major threat to polar bear numbers. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature monitors endangered species on its red list. The organization classifies polar bears as vulnerable, meaning the species faces a high risk of extinction in the wild. Cute clouded leopard kitten is your daily dose of all. UK scientists using IVF method to save northern white rhino. With less than a handful of northern white rhinos left on Earth, a team of UK scientists at a British zoo will try to save the species using a procedure never previously attempted. The three remaining northern white rhinos are under round-the-clock protection at a conservation site in Kenya. There are two females and one elderly male. Due to fertility issues, the females are unable to conceive offspring naturally. As an alternative, sperm will be extracted from the male and eggs from the females. 
Using the in vitro fertilization method, any fertilized eggs will be implanted in a group of female southern white rhinos, a closely related subspecies, to be brought to term. If this proves unsuccessful, scientists will combine the northern white rhino's sperm with the eggs of the southern white rhinos in the hope a crossbred embryo will result. In advance of experimenting with northern white rhino samples, the IVF technique will first be tested using southern white rhino sperm and eggs. Creating an embryo outside a rhino has never been done before. If the scientists in England are able to pull this off, it would theoretically mark the first step to reviving the species from the very brink of extinction. The northern white rhino population has been decimated in recent years due to hunting and poaching for its horns.